Hi, welcome back to Photography by Harrison. You know, the last time we met, I was telling you how you can test the camera any place, anywhere. And I just happened to be at the ball game Saturday, UNC and Appalachian, so I took my trusty old five-year-old Olympus along to give it a test. How does it perform HD-wise? How does the HD video of the Olympus, which Olympus, you know, is not really known for the video. How does the HD video hold up on a five-year-old camera. Remember, I'm in the stands. I'm using it just like you would in the real world. So if I'm filming a scene, it does a touchdown, a uh, fumble recovery, someone jumps up in front of me, well, I just have to pull out wide. You miss part of the play. But that's part of the real world testing. How does the camera perform when you take it to an event? And uh, you're probably wondering why am I testing a five-year-old camera? Because that's what I have, a five-year-old camera. I'm pretty sure there's a lot more other people out there who also have five-year-old cameras. You might want to know, how well yours can do because you might not even shot in you might have a, your camera you might maybe never shot any video because you've always heard the complaints that HD video is not that good in the Olympus cameras well I'm gonna show you what I shot you know some of the band some of the football action then I let you decide if it's good enough for you and with that being said I'll see you on the other side
Well, what do you think? How did this five-year-old Memphis EM-10 hold up? Good, bad, and different. If you haven't shot any video with yours, we'll convince you to pick up yours, take it out and shoot some video, or we'll say, no, I'll just stay with steels. Now, the next time, we will do a bunch of steel shooting because it is very sharp and excellent camera when you shoot steels, but the biggest complaint has been that their video is not that good. So I want to show you some video that I shot then you can compare it for yourself. I'm not saying I'm the greatest videographer out there, but at least you get a representation of what this camera can do. And you're probably wondering why am I standing underneath the shade, in the sh why am I standing underneath this tree in the shade? Simple. These cameras, despite how far they advance, they do not really handle contrast that well. If you're a light-skinned person, yes, you can be out in the bright sun or be backlit strong down. But if you have any kind of tint to your, to your skin, like me, I'm a sexy pecan brown, you better find some shade because they just don't have handled the range that well. So that's why I'm underneath this, this tree. And, if, and as always, if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to go down to the right-hand corner, hit the subscribe button. Also, hit the notification button so you can get on my videos. If you like what you see, give, leave a th thumbs up. It motivate me to more, get out and do more videos. And also, if you don't like what you see, I don't mind if you leave a thumbs down because just tell me what you don't like and that'll mo motivate me to go out and do more videos so the next time you will like it because you know what my two sayings are. No one knows it all when it comes to photography and the more you learn about photography, the more you learn you didn't know. And with that being said, I will see you next time.